thank you for joining us. It's 2023 December. Let's go efficient of the redeemed Christian Church of God. And we are here at Imeko, the western part of Ogun State, Nigeria. Imeko borders Benin Republic. It's a few kilometers away um, to Benin Republic um, border. We are here at Nazareth High School where we're just about to kickstart the Let's Go Efficient Crusade for this year. And um, here at the field, we have lots of people actually coming in. Seats are already getting set. Um, on my left hand side, you have a lot of seats you know a lot of seats set already for people to occupy and people are already coming in gradually um the choir are already um doing a few rehearsals and we have a medical team right there also ready to attend to as many as possible that comes um, to this crusade and on my right hand side okay we have people already seated getting set for what god is about to do today here in nazareth high school in imeko ogun state nigeria we have people gradually coming in and we try God today to be a beautiful experience even as we celebrate Jesus the reason for the season the theme for this year's let's go efficient is the everlasting father and I know that as you listen to the ministration of our father in the Lord that general overseer of the redeemed Christian Church of God you will indeed know and understand and receive the blessings that comes from the everlasting father my name is Lillian Ogedegbe I want to say welcome to Emeka welcome to Nazareth High School and this is 2023 December, let's go fishing. God bless you. I'll see you at the end of the crusade. Hallelujah! Baba, we Baba,
Hey, I want a presentation, yeah, I want a presentation, yeah. 
Let me to welcome Pastor Aga. The pastor in charge of RCCG. Ogun Province 16. He has the anointing to come and pray. For transformation. Of Imeko land and I, its environment. I, Help me to celebrate Pastor Aga. You, you can, can do better than that. that. Let's Let's say, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Ah, your hallelujah is very weak. If you know you are going to see the end of year 2023, let your hallelujah be resounding. Praise the Lord! We want to pray for We want to pray for Imeko and the Tans Everon. Psalm 24 verse 1. Said the earth is the Lord, and the fullness thereof, and everything therein. Imeko is for Jesus. Every business is here. They are for Jesus. All the towns surrounding Mecca, they are for Jesus. The Oba of Mecca and all the chiefs, they are for Jesus. Every family here, they are for Jesus. So I want her to rise and begin to thank God for Mecca and every town, all the families, the businesses, and the, the youth, the husbands and wives, open your mouth, begin to thank God for them. Begin, open your mouth, begin to thank God. Oluwa, hey, ni, oh, yeah. La John chapter 1 verse 1 to 5 says in the beginning was the world and the world was with God and the world was God the same was the beginning with God all things were made by him without him was anything made that was made in him was life and the life was light of man and the life shines in darkness darkness comprehended no we are going to command light to come to Imeko and the Everest. Open your mouth and begin to command light. Light, 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 light,
As a result of this crusade, we command light to shine upon Imole. Lori Meko, Imeko, Imeko, and the environs. At the point where we are to do it, we are going to do it. 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 In Jesus' name, we are praying. Your amen is weak. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Second Kings chapter 2, verse 19. I read. Moka. And the men of the city said unto Elisha. Behold, I pray thee, the decision of this city is pleasant as my Lord said, but the water is not and the ground barren. And he said, Bring me a new cruise. Put so therein. And they brought it to him. And he went forth unto the spring of the water. And cast the salt in there. And said, Does hear the Lord? This town. And the Evarons. You are healed. I said, You are healed. He said, I have healed these waters. There shall not be from hence any more dead or barren land. So the waters were healed unto this day. According to the saying of Elisha, which he speak. Our daddy will soon come in. As a result of his visit to this place, this time, you are healed. Amen. The environs, the villages, environs, you are healed. Amen. From today, Amen. development is your portion. Amen. Infrastructure is your portion. Amen. The glory that is dead Amen. will come back to life in Jesus' name. Glory, Father. As a result of the visit of Pastor Ia Deboye, to this time, Father, heal this time. Heal the businesses in this time. Open your mouth and begin to pray. 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 Open your mouth and Pray, 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 pray. In Jesus' name, we are praying. We want to invite our traditional singer. We, their name is Obadara Group. Ladies and gentlemen, men and women, people of God, old and young, help me to celebrate your Badara group as Celebrate them. Celebrate them.
This is the hour we have been waiting for. Work out it at Indro Day, not today. This very hour. Work out it, go. We have in our means. Ani la ani wa. Our Father in the Lord. Baba wa ni nuolua. The General Overseer. Allah ko suagba. Of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. We enjoy that part that you alone. The Almighty God oh, Lord, has directed him to be here today so that you and myself we shall receive our blessing. That time of blessing is now. If you are sure your blessing is now, shout a prayer. That is my privilege to welcome you Baba wa ki kabo to si arin wa to imeko land si ilu imeko expect your miracle today the one ma re ti ise iranu sire ni ogun like never before juti ateyin wa lo god bless you olorun yo bukun fun o pass okun le aja yi the wine. Let me hear you shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shake hands with one or two people. Tell him or her. You will see me in the new year. And if you believe that, shout another hallelujah. Hallelujah. Then you may please be seated. Please be seated. Uh, if you can't find this, oh, there are chairs over there. So find a seat and settle down.
Yesterday we were marking the birthday of our Lord Jesus Christ. Our Lord Jesus Christ has many names. And each name has its own significance. For example, in John chapter 14, verse 6, he said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Now, when he says, I am the way, he is saying that if the whole world says there is no way for you, and you come to Jesus Christ, it will make a way. Which is why I'm prophesying to someone straight away that all the doors that have been shut against you shall be opened. Then he says, I am the truth. Now the Bible says, You shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Which is why I'm saying to someone again, straight away, it doesn't matter how many people have tried to hold you down. From now on, you shall be free. And then he says, I'm the life. Now, life means the opposite of death. And Jesus is saying, if there's anything that is good that is dead in your life, he can bring it back to life. Some people prophesy to someone. I prophesy to someone. That every good thing that the devil has stolen from you. From today, shall be fully restored. And then he now came to Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6. And he began to tell us of many of his beautiful names. He started by saying, My name is Wonderful. Now, wonderful means full of wonders. And the implication of that is that he can perform wonders for everybody. And I decree in the name that's above every other name. Before the end of this year, everyone here will receive a miracle. Then he says, I am counselor. Now, a counselor is someone who has bigger wisdom than yours. And so he can advise you on what to do when you don't know what to do. For example, in Daniel chapter 2, a king had a dream. When he woke up, he had forgotten the dream. So he called the, all the wise men together. He said, I had a dream. And I've forgotten the dream. I want you to tell me my dream. And the interpretation. Oh, the wise men said, Your Majesty. Um, tell us the dream and then we'll tell you the interpretation. He said, if you don't tell me my dream and the interpretation, I will kill all of you. But there was a man there called Daniel. And he said to the king, please give me one night. Let me consult my God. Let me go and ask the counselor. And Daniel went. 
consulted the counselor. And before the following morning, he knew the dream and the, the interpretation. Which is why I'm prophesying to every student here. In the name that's above every other name. You will never fail another exam. And I'm decreeing to those who have difficult situations. And you don't know the way out. The one called cancel. Before tomorrow morning, we show you the way out. Then he says, I am the mighty God. The God who can do anything. And so he said to one woman who was 90 years old, nine months from now, you'll be carrying a baby boy. And the woman laughed. And God said, why are you laughing? Is anything too hard for me? So I'm prophesying to someone here today. Even if the doctor say you can't have a child. Nine months from now, you'll be carrying your own child. And I know there is somebody here. At one time or the other, they have told you that your case is impossible. All those who said so, they are about to have a surprise. Because your own will not be too hard for God to do. And then finally we come to what we are talking about this time. He says, I'm the everlasting father. Two words here. Father Baba, and everlasting. Now, father is not a name. It's a title. Father means the source. When you name a child, next time you want to introduce a child, you say, so, 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 the son of so, so, so. The father is the source. Now, God is your source. He said, before I formed you, I knew you. Before you came out of your mother's womb, I was aware of you. And the beauty of that is this. It's the one who knows your source that can determine how you will end. So I decree to somebody now, whether the enemies like it or not, you will reach your goal. Now, Father is also the provider. Baba, the one who can provide for the family is the one called Father. Now, the Father I'm introducing to you today is the richest Father of all. Is the one who says, Silver is mine, gold is mine. Is the one who can make you rich without adding any sorrow. And when he wants to make you rich, he can do it suddenly. And so whether you believe it or not, there's somebody here listening to me now. Before the end of this year, something is going to happen to you. So that your family will never know poverty again. And then they say this father is everlasting. What exactly do we mean by that? Now, if your father is the president, you will enjoy the power of the presidency for maximum of eight years. But after a year, eight years, your father will become ex-president. 
But the father I'm talking about can never become ex-god. Is the same yesterday. Is the same today. Is the same forever. His name is I am. Nobody elected him to power. So nobody can elect him out of power. He's there forever. He's the everlasting father. Which is why I'm telling somebody today, for the rest of your life, you will never know sorrow. Now that brings us to the big question. Because if I'm to continue talking about my father, because he's my father, and I know him very well, I can tell you that when he opens, no man can shut. When he says yes, nobody can say no. When he promotes you, nobody can bring you down. If he does not kill you, nobody can kill you. I can talk about him for the rest of the day. And then the big question is this. Are you one of his children? You see, because he gives all his miracles to those who are his children. A woman came to him. And said, please, I need a miracle. Oh, he said, I can't give the bread of children to dogs. He said, I only give miracles to my children. So you need to answer the question. Are you his child? You see, in, in, in Jesha land, they have a saying. They say every Jesha person is a child of Owa. But when night falls, Owa knows how many children will come to his house to sleep. And the Bible says, God knows those who are his own. Are you one of his own? You see, because this father is a holy one. And the Bible teaches like, like father, like child. So if you say you are a child of God, and you are still living in sin, then you are deceiving yourself. But today, if you want to become one of his children, it's a very easy thing. All you need to do is to make up your mind that you want to say bye-bye to sin. You don't want to have anything to do with the devil anymore. And then you come forward here and I will pray for your salvation. He will save your soul and he will receive you into his family. And all the miracles we are talking about and many more will become available to you. So if you want to give your life to Jesus, you want to say bye-bye to sin, before I say five, come and stand in front of you. Let me pray for your salvation before I pray for everybody else. So I'm going to count now. From one to five. If you want to give your life to Jesus, don't wait for your friend. It's between you and God. Come now. As I'm counting. One. Two. A.G. The choice is yours. Today is your day of salvation. Three. Today is your day of salvation. Don't postpone it to tomorrow. 
Only God knows tomorrow. And don't say, oh, what will my friends say? Ah, uh, we are not talking about your friends. Uh, we are talking about the everlasting father. The one who can change your life. Who can make everything new. For so if you are coming, hurry up, hurry up. Hurry up. Make sure you get here before I finish praying. So those of you are already in front. And those of you are coming. Cry to God. I say everlasting Father. Have mercy on me. Forgive all my sins. Save my soul. I want to be one of your children. I will not have anything to do with the devil anymore. I'm saying bye-bye to a life of sin. Go ahead, talk to him. Talk to him like and the rest of us, let's stretch our hands towards this and pray for them that the one who saved our souls we save their souls also. Pray for them that they too will become children of God from now. Intercede for them. Intercede for them. And if you are still on the way, hurry up, hurry up. Because I will soon be praying for salvation. Don't delay. This is your day. Hurry up, hurry up. Yeah, I can see you coming, so hurry up. Hurry up. Thank you, Father. If you are coming, make sure you get here before I finish praying. Because I must pray for salvation now. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Keep coming if you are still coming. Keep coming. You are not late yet. Just make sure you get here before I finish praying. Because I can see some of you running. Keep coming. My Father, my God, I want to say thank you. Thank you for your word. And thank you for all those who have come forward now. Father, please receive them. Have mercy on them. Please save their souls. Let your blood wash away their sins. Receive them into the family of God. Write their names in the book of life. And from now on, any time they ask any miracle from you, answer them by fire. And let them serve you forever. Thank you, Almighty God. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. Amen. Ah, now, those of you who have come forward, let me hear you shout hallelujah. I rejoice with you. Because from now on, by the grace of God, I will be praying for you. And soon you will be receiving miracles. And then you will know somebody is praying for you. And that somebody will be me. And so I'm going to need your names, your address, and your prayer requests. And I promise you, I will be praying for you. So some people will come and give you uh, pieces of paper to write your name, your address, and requests upon. 
But for the time being, stay where you are because I want to pray for everybody. Now, now the rest of us. If you believe that today is your day, that God is going to answer you today, please stand on your feet and shout a big hallelujah. Hallelujah now. Now, our prayer is going to be in two sections. First, I will pray for you. And then, it will be your turn to pray for yourself. Let us pray. My Father, my God, I want to bless your name. I thank you for bringing me to Imeko. I thank you for this new day. My Lord and my Savior, I commit everybody here today into your hands. Everyone connected with this kingdom, please have mercy on them. Anything that can stand between them and their miracles. Please put it under your blood. Everything they ask from you today, before this sun sets, let it become a testimony. If they ask for healing, give it to them. If they ask for freedom, give it to them. If they ask for victory, give it to them. If they ask for breakthrough, give it to them. If they ask for prosperity, Father, give unto them. If they ask for promotion, Father, give unto them. If they ask for anointing, give unto them. Whatever they ask for, that will make their joyful, Father, give to them today. And now, my father, my God, in your name, I am blessing these people. In the name that's above every other name, it shall be well with you. You will find favor with God. You will find favor with men. Everywhere you turn, ways will open unto you. You will go from glory to glory. From success to success. God will help you. He will defend you. He will fight your battles for you. You will all enter the new year with joy. You will spend the new year with joy. Your joy will never become sorrow. It shall be well with you. Oh, the almighty God himself will promote you. He will grant your request. And everything you ask from him today, even before you leave this ground, it will be granted unto you. So shall it be. And in the kingdom of God, none of you will be missing. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Uh-huh. Now, it's your turn to pray. I have asked the Almighty God to give you whatever you ask for today. So you must think of something big. Something that only God can give. You will say to him. Everlasting Father. Before the new year. Perform this miracle for me. So that my joy will be full. For five minutes. Go ahead. Forget everybody else. It's you and him now. And you tell him the miracles you want. Go ahead. Talk to him. He's listening. And he will grant your request. Go ahead. Talk to the Lord.
all glory to Jesus, the everlasting Father in heaven, who has just glorified his name today on earth and even in the land of Imeko. As we saw, people came out in their hundreds to surrender their lives to Jesus Christ, who is the reason for the season. We just give God the glory for what he has done here in Imeko. Well, it's been a beautiful time here. I'd like to talk to a few people who actually were part of the crusade that we had here at the Nazareth High School. I'd like to talk to a woman there. Could you help me call her? That woman going so that she can talk to us. This has been the Let's Go at Fishing here in Imeko. And it actually came to you from the Nazareth High School. How are you doing, man? Uh, go you bo. How was the program here? How was the program? Program is fine, all fine, da da. Oh, well, okay. Oh, 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 bossy, kidney, ara, fuwa, da da. Oh, boss, I enjoy, Baba. Eh, Baba, de boye. Lagbara, Lord, one more test, you are Judy. You are Ruko, Jesu, Christy, or Luawa. Amen. Anyway, she said she enjoyed the service here. She enjoyed the crusade. And then she has also prayed for our highly esteemed father in the Lord, Pastor E. Adeboy, that the Lord will continue to walk with him and lift him even higher and higher. Well, I would like to talk to one of the pastors who is also an indigent of Imeko here in Ogunset, Nigeria. Pastor, how was the crusade, the Let's Go official that we just had very now? Very wonderful and interesting. Very, very wonderful and interesting. How, you know, this is a history that just been made today. This is history that just been made today. This is the first time Pastor Iya Debori is visiting Imeko for Let's Go Fishing. What do you think will happen to the land of Imeko just after this crusade that we have just had today? You see, Fra, we believe, we believe that vis, uh, the, the, vis, the visit that the, the, that the GO did uh, brought the wonderful thing into this uh, land, Imeko, Imeko land. We believe God that after today, those things that devil has stolen away, we comes back to this land. God has revolved this this land for better. Amen. What's your name, sir? Uh, my name is uh, Pastor B.C. Adejuma. All right. Can you wish everybody a Merry Christmas and a prosperous New Year? Uh, can you wish everybody a Merry Christmas and a prosperous New Year? I wish everybody Happy Christmas and New Year in advance. Amen. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Thank you, everyone, for being a part of the Let's Go a Fishing for December 2023. And I have just reached you from Imeko here in Ogun State, Nigeria. And history, indeed, like I said earlier, has just been made because uh, Daddy Joe visited everywhere, and this is the first time he's visiting Imeko. We pray for our highly esteemed Father in the Lord, that General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, that the Lord will continue to strengthen him, even at 8 one going 82 he is still strong in the lord and he has the passion to bring as many to the kingdom of god my name is lilian nogedegwe thank you for watching let's go fishing from imeko here in ogun state nigeria happy new year in advance everyone bye bye